Okay, it's parry time. So we'll keep jump attacks, of course, and I'll have to see what we want to do about that, but we want the critical hit talisman for sure. Um, I don't know about guard counters. I might just stick with that stuff if we're not doing guard counters. So we have the buckler and we have a critical hit talisman. Is there anything else that I was running for critical hits? Oh yeah, critical hits restore HP. That's what we want. Oh, okay. This is critical hits, jump attacks, critical hits restore HP. So yeah. We are gonna learn to parry Radagon, or try to. LOL. Was that a parry? I think it was. Okay. Got to grab though. <laughs> Got our first parry of the game, so I'm hyped about that at least. Oh wow. Okay. So that's a throne lightning bolt. I feel like his parry timings aren't going to be that bad, but he's just going to have so many other attacks that it's definitely going to take us some time here. So we best strap in. Strap in for a. A game. At least they didn't put this um, boss fight all far away from you for the boss run. Because that would just be. It would make it way worse than it already is with Elden Beast. L O L. I think we're just gonna summon for Elden Beast. I might practice Radagon a lot until I can do him with only half of my heals or something like that. And parry him pretty consistently. So. The goal is going to be a parry and a follow-up jump attack, I think. Something along those lines. Let's go for a jump attack and then a hit. It's a stomp creed. <laughs> Don't think we're going to parry a stomp. Dude, the timing on that is rough. I guess I could just run away. That's honestly what I should do. Whenever I see the golden arm, just run away. I can appreciate this fog wall, but my golly. The amount of times that we're gonna have to go through this animation. <laughs> Just that extra five seconds of animation. Bam, bam, bam. And then we have to wait for the white screen to finish. <laughs> it's like, oh my golly. Stomp. <laughs> okay, it's one. Dude, get. The fr it's fast, actually. I didn't realize it was that fast. Dude, it literally kills you instantly. What am I supposed to do against that attack? Oh, I'm not dead. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> so, he does holy damage. Looks like my holy damage resistance is actually pretty solid on this. It could be better, but not a lot, honestly. So I might stick with that. But like, instead of this, we could do. Oh, we don't have holy damage negation. Ah, that stinks. Yeah. <coughs> Should I drink my cerulean?
tiers, maybe, right as we go through. That might be smart, actually. Because then I could, uh, I don't know, just try to get that extra stagger damage on him. But then I'm not, I'm, I'm sacrificing the jump attack. Maybe I can still get one. Yeah, we can. That's a, you can parry that for sure, but I didn't, obviously. <laughs> Stomp Creed. Ah, which is annoying because I wanted to practice it. Okay, there's a follow up to it as well. I don't remember even how I did this fight. I literally don't remember anything from it. Okay. This is not an Okay, there's Perry. Dude, oh, this fight. It's just. It's gonna be so rough. Way too early, dude. There's a follow up to everything in this game. I'm sorry, I'm just so angry. I'm so angry. I just am gonna like lose my mind on this fight, I feel like. I was thinking Malekith was bad, but this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. I think my problem is I need to prepare not to parry everything. Like, I'm gonna have to, we gotta focus on dodging. I think we gotta be able to stay close to him as well. Like, we need to have practice dodging to his right and then just like being prepared to parry the parryable attacks. And it's just gonna be so much stress. But we can do it. Just remain calm. Remain calm. I feel like most of the parable attacks have a long wind up, so I don't need to like panic and be ready to instant parry. That's something I need to remember. So like for that first attack, I'll have plenty of time to see if it's fast, then I dodge, and if it's not fast, then I can go for the parry. So something like that. I'm gonna drink this again, I think. Nice. Oh, and it's an AoE field afterwards? That kind of sucks. I bet you could parry that. Not sure, though. Oh, no, too late. Too late. I'm not why I'm blocking. I need to remember I can't block if I'm going to parry. Dude, his stomp. Ugh. It's fine, Creed. You're just practicing. There's no need to get this angry. It's fine. We got a single parry on this man. <laughs> He's got so much health, too. It's like so freaking much. I'm counting on my critical doing a lot of damage to him. We should also probably be R1ing in between attacks to get like extra damage. Like, I don't. It doesn't need to be purely parries. But we definitely need to practice if we want to parry, so. He's only three parries, so, like, I honestly thought for a final boss it might be something crazy for, like, um, like, five or something, but it's the same as Morgoth, so, Morgoth's three. So, to me, that's pretty reasonable. Just, except for how hard this boss is. But he's easy to parry, so, like, I can understand it. I waited a little bit too long on the big wind-up gold attack. A little bit too long. This is gonna take a lot of practice though, so. Be prepared to just be chilling a while. Drink this through all tears again. That I think should have been the timing, but I don't know. Dude, at range, he sucks so bad. Okay, so we're not gonna range him. I just, ugh. What a man. What a man. Radagon, Radagon, This is exhausting, dude. It's just gonna be exhausting. I'm fine, I'm fine. We got this, just shake it, shake it off. We're just gonna be doing it all, just accept it. This is what we're here for. We're here for, we're here for hours. Hours of pairing Radagon. That's what we're here for.
I gotta. I have to drink the flask at the beginning. I don't know why I didn't decide to do that. It, it just keeps me alive for long enough that I can do a little extra practice. So, because I get the one free hit, and I honestly don't know if the extra staggies is gonna be beneficial. So maybe I should turn that back into like regen healing over time or something. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> Nice. Got. Nice. Dude, let's go. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good damage for it. And then we can probably get a follow up jump attack. Yes. Too early. Way too early there. I don't like this attack at all. I feel like I could probably learn that timing, but it's just not easy in my opinion. I feel like that should have been a parry, but it's fine. What do I know? I hate this attack. Nice, we dodged it. <laughs> Got a big recovery on that, so. This is the golden arm, dude. Oh, I literally panic. I'm like, oh, the golden arm. It's such a sucky attack, dude. And now he's gonna launch lightning at me. Oh, he didn't. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for waiting a little bit to launch your lightning. I appreciate it more than you can know. Can you let me heal, please? Thank you. I hate that attack, dude. I hate it. Dude, your combos suck. They suck. Dude, you suck. You suck! When am I supposed to heal?! It's fine, we were off to a good start, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, you're fine, I'm fine. It just makes me so mad when I'm getting hit constantly and I have zero HP. I'm like, what? It... <sighs> it's fine, it's just that you literally have to perfectly dodge through a combo until you get an attack window and that's the only time that you can heal. You can't just like get away from the boss and heal. It's really frustrating. It's like, Elden Ring is the only game that has that. Like The other bosses, it's hard, but like, the windows exist. Like, even Nameless King, you can get away from and heal. You just have to know the timing for it. And, um... Yeah. Everybody's calling the cam right now. We're just having fun. We're just having fun. We're just practicing a video game. I, I have to remember that, because <laughs> I get so mad. We're just practicing a video game. It's for fun. It's so that we can do it better in the future. It's going to be hard now, and but maybe we'll remember these parry timings for a long while. At the very least, we'll record it so that we can look back on the parry timings and remind ourselves in the future. I can play vicariously through my future self, which is just great, you know? It's not, dude. <laughs> okay. That one's so fast. This, the golden grab is so fast, dude. It's so fast. Like, I just, like, I don't even have time to think about what I want to do. That attack sucks too. It sucks really bad. I don't care what anybody says. Recover HP, please. Oh, that was dumb. Dude, why didn't I parry? Did I just pressed L2 and my weapon activated. What? Is that some kind of weapon skill? What just happened? I'm pretty sure I would have had that. I'm so confused at what just happened. Did I accidentally like double click R1 and it saved my input? Dude, it's like stuff like that. I, I, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. Anybody who watches this is gonna get tired of me just being complaining. <laughs> but I just. I just can't voice to you how frustrating it is to be able to do like one thing and then you have to like. I don't even know. <laughs> reset completely and just do it again like I, the fact that i just can't even get away and like manage to get one heal off so i can try for a little bit longer is really frustrating 
like a little bit longer. I'm cool if I get him to, you know, a quarter of his health and then I get walloped in a combo, but it would be nice to just be able to try for a little tiny bit longer on this man. But alas, I ask for too much. I am returned. I think my biggest problem is that I don't have just like endless hours to do this. You know, it's not like, like I'm doing it for fun, but I don't have like a hundred hours to play. So I'm not like, you know what I mean? Stomp, the stomp really annoys me because I don't know it, but it's fine. Too early. Stop shooting! I don't know if you can parry that, because it's a weirdly weird angle. I genuinely feel like this guy should not have any ranged attacks. I just don't. He can jump to you. He should have a jump up and come towards you. I don't think he should have any ranged attacks. <laughs> he doesn't need him. It's hard enough. It's whatever. It's the final boss, guys. It's the final boss. Why is he 450 times harder than the Soul of Cinder? That's the only question I have for you. And also 450 times harder than Orphan of Cause, dude. And like Orphan of Cause, like I feel like people relatively agree that he was the hardest from Soft Boss. Maybe Nameless King is harder, but Nameless King I feel like is easier once you memorize him. But I also think Orphan of Cause isn't that hard once you memorize him, so I don't know. But I just feel like the, the problem with the Elder Rings bosses, I for me at least, is I think they're so hard to memorize. Like, you have to put so much longer. Like, I feel like the other bosses, the other games, like, even Nameless King, you could put in, like, an hour and you'd have him memorized. But with these bosses, I almost feel like I have to stay here for hours and hours and hours and hours to figure out every single one of their moves reliably. Like, it's really hard to dodge their moves reliably. In my experience. I think you could parry for that, maybe. I actually don't know, because it's not really like a melee attack. I could have parried that, I don't know why I didn't. I'm, like, I'm fairly certain you could that, actually. This was like too scared. I got grabbed from 300 yards away. I'll have you know. I it just makes me so I can parry that. Dude, way too early. Frustratingly early, but it's fine. Is he healing himself in there? What does that do? I actually don't know. I, I, I dodge that. I'm telling you, I dodge that. I'm telling you I did. Thank you for at least giving it to me that time. I feel like there should have been a timing, but I don't know. Can't tell you for sure, obviously. Okay. The old stomp. The even scarier stomp. I don't remember what you do for that. I, I feel like there's a way to get out of that, but I don't remember it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, I know. I wanted you to be right here because I actually didn't need to heal. I know I did. I wasn't really interested in healing. Um, 
Yeah, I was actually wondering if you could do an, uh, an unavoidable attack um, while I'm on 1 HP. I was wondering uh, maybe if your AI was built to do that. I was like out of curiosity. Just like an out of curiosity thing. I was wondering if you could kill me and let me dead. Don't let me respawn. Make me restart the game and go fight Godric Grafted because he's the best boss in the game. It's the end of my rant. I don't know if you can parry the double-handed overhead slam, actually. The more I think about it. Get out, get out. <laughs> Excuse me, can you leave me alone for a second so I can heal? It takes me 300 years to uh, to drink my Estus Foss because this game forgot that it's not Bloodborne. <laughs> I feel like I could have parried that, but it's fine. That's a, that's a quarter of his health, so I feel better about that attempt. It's pretty good. We got like two jump attacks in. We got the parry. Parry repost. Feeling good, like I should. I didn't parry the first two. It's fine though. I didn't get grabbed by that at least. I'm gonna get hit by that though. I got you're my favorite. Did I ever tell ya? Did I ever tell you you're my favorite? I love fighting. I'm go for the heal here. To be safe. I think I might be able to get an attack. Thank you. I just love that attack. It's so much fun. Hey, <laughs> the parry timing on that I think is way later. I failed that. That's my fault. Nobody else's. I have to be close to him to parry that. Duh. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh boy, look at my golden parry. But yeah, we're teleporting now. I'd love that for us. What? I literally was not even in the damage range for that, by the way. <laughs> it's fine, though. And that attack it sucks so bad, dude. It sucks so bad, in my opinion. Run! Can you let me heal once? Thank you. I didn't. I didn't. It's whatever you say, Mr. Radical, sir. Yeah, it's whatever you say, Mr. Radigan, sir. We're dead, right? 100%. 100%. 100%. Dude, I don't know what is the trigger for that attack that I'm supposed to see. Dude, why would you store that input? I pressed to drink like 10 seconds before it made me drink that SS flask. Why would it store that input? Why? Gosh, that's dumb. 
that was a very yeah dude one parry and the freaking instant grab yes yes if i dodge right when i see it he'll still grab me that's what i hate about that grab Sucks, dude. Sucks, dude. We're doing it okay on parry timings, but my gosh, I just can't dodge most of his attacks to save my life. See? See? Dude, and then the recovery. I was done drinking, but I couldn't dodge because the game didn't want me to. Okay, we dodged that. <laughs> Yay, Oz. I know that one because it's like the shoulder. You watch like a shoulder and you can usually do it. Usually, I say. deal some kind of laser damage on that attack. Because of course we do. Oh, and let's do the same. Yeah, wait, I just love your lightning. You'll never be Gwen. Ugh. Stop. At least he gave me time to heal. Oh, we don't have any heals. It's over. <laughs> We're out of heals. But we made it to almost out of health. Honestly, I'm not going to get too upset because that's, that's honestly progress. It's honestly progress. It's fine. This top is really annoying, but it's fine. Great, that attack. Mildly against the sun. Great opening, dude. <clears throat> Like, what attack is that? <laughs> Way too early. That's really late. So I can I can parry that really late. I need to remember that. It's hard to keep track of. I hate that attack. <clears throat> Dude, way better start. Look at us. Stomp. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> what?! Splash damage on that attack! That's so ridiculous, dude. That was a great opening, though. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. That was a great opening. I'm not mad about it.